On today's Tuesday Talk, we are answering a question from a viewer about groceries and sundries and basics and how we make sure we have everything we need week to week in the Airstream with as little space as we have. I have a feeling I'm going to be one talking about this because this is my domain and Steve despises grocery shopping. So It's one of my least favorite chores for sure, though I do like the word sundry. Yes. <laughs> That, that's a really cool word that I do not hear enough. Sundry. Sundry. Um, so one thing I do to make this guy a little happier is we only go grocery shopping about once a week. Um, but that can be more difficult when you have a smaller space like an Airstream, especially the fridge and freezer space, which is much smaller than a typical house. Uh, and you can't buy as much. Exactly. But I want to try to make everything we buy last an entire week so we don't have to go multiple times. And the way I do that is something I call like a capsule kitchen. Everything we cook kind of goes together ingredient wise. So like if I'm going to buy broccoli to make an Asian stir fry, I'm also going to buy, use the broccoli to do a mango dish later in the week. Or uh, we always keep beans, refried pinto and black beans, because I can pull out Mexican food of all sorts really easily. and use rice on it or use corn tortillas or use potatoes or use hash browns some of the staples that we can keep in the airstream because they're dried goods and they last longer i can easily make a bunch of different things with what i have so i don't really have a list that i go through every week to see if i need things but i do keep a list on my phone i use just a list making app i know a lot of people use google keep for this because then they can share it between people my my folks do that actually yeah and so they can actually my mom add, will things. add things to the list while my dad is out at the store <laughs> and he won't even know about it he'll just consult the list and and go there's buy the more new stuff thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's really convenient it is so google keeps a great way to do mm -hmm. that um, but yeah, I just add things to the list as I realize we're running out of them. So I use two cans of black beans, I add two cans of black beans. I use the last of the pineapple or I see it's getting low, I add a pineapple to the list. And so there are certain things like that that we just always keep. We will always have a pineapple, we will always have cilantro and green onions and beans to make Mexican food. Uh, and then when I actually sit down to meal plan, that is when I'll add everything else. I'll add the meat or I'll add whatever is specific to the meals I'm planning for the next week. And then the rest of the sundries, like I said, as I run out of them or I see that they're running out, I add them to the list. So we have four rolls of toilet paper left. Let me add it to the list. And that way I know that we will definitely go to the store before I run out and I won't have to worry about actually running out. So yeah, and that's kind of what we do. We plan our grocery shops around when we're in bigger towns because we tend to find more groceries that way. And we'll do a Costco shop about once a month if, if we can find a Costco. And we'll keep that list separately and add things onto that as we know we need them um, so that we're ready the day we go to Costco. I don't have to go around checking everything. I can just go because I've already had it all on the list. And I just play a support role. <laughs> I basically take the groceries out of the truck and put them on the counter or on the floor inside the Airstream. And that's my contribution to this whole mess. <laughs> Though he tells me when things are running low. So he knows also to not let my tea get down too far. Like he wants to let me know when I have six or eight days left of tea because I need to get another box before that runs out or else I'm gonna be grumpy in the morning. I give her a buffer. Yes. Same it's easier with, for both of us. Same with his coffee. Anything that he uses, he'll be like, oh, I'm running low on this. Can you add it to the list? I do it right then and there so I don't forget. Actually coffee. And we're good. I have to add coffee. I, to the I'm, list. I have like two or three more days. Okay. So. Well, we're going grocery shopping in the next two or three days, so aww. we should be good. <laughs> but you'll get coffee. That's true. That's the good side. Yeah. So that's what I do. I know some people keep like full on lists that they check every single week or they check every month. Um, that's just never really worked for me. This is what works so that I just make sure we have it before it runs out. That's that's really the thing. So as long Seems as I fair enough. as long as I keep an eye on things and say, hey, we only have this much oil left. I'm going to get more oil, even though I probably don't need it quite yet. And that way I don't have to worry about it. And that works out well for us. So that's it for this week's Tuesday Talk. If you have a question for a future Tuesday Talk, really about anything under the sun, which it is sunny right now. It is sunny. There's not a cloud in the sky. I know. Then leave it in the comments below and we will get to it in a future Tuesday Talk video. If you like this video, right. give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.